The advice and opinions expressed by the host of Autism Live and her guests are meant solely as suggestion and should not be in any way construed as child-specific advice. The Center for Autism and Related Disorders advises working with a board-certified behavior analyst who has experienced with autism before starting any intensive behavioral intervention. Any choices you make in determining your child's treatment are completely at your own discretion. Welcome to Autism Live. I'm Shannon Penrod, and we're webcasting to you live from the Center for Autism and Related Disorders headquarters in Tarzana, California. Am I excited today? You betcha I am. Today is day three of the Festival of Toys. My head is spinning, but I'm so excited about some of these toys that we're taking a look at. We are also well into our holiday giveaway. So all of the toys that you see on the show will be given away at some point between now and December 20th. And many other toys and many other superlative gifts. I, I am overwhelmed with gratitude for the amount of giveaways that companies have given us to support you and to support us uh, as a way of celebrating this holiday season. And I want to remind all of you that there are very specific rules. You guys are doing a very good job, but I'm just going to remind you, and if you're new and just tuning in today, that as you watch the show today, in each hour, we're going to be giving away different things. And it will tell you at the top of the hour what the item being given away is. And then we will, at some point in the hour, when I'm talking to our guests, Emily will put on the screen a word or a phrase, I don't even know what it is. So don't, don't email me and ask me what it is. I don't know what it is. It'll be on the screen for a couple of seconds. You'll need to write that down along with the different items that are, are being given away during the hour. And you're going to email us. Emily's going to show you the email address on the screen right now that you'll email us to. So writing it on the live feature doesn't count. Uh, sending it to my personal email doesn't count. You have to send it to this email. In the subject line, you must, must put the item that you're wanting to win. For instance, this hour, there are two different things that you can win, right? So uh, specify which one you're wanting to win. And then in the body of the email, make sure that you're putting what the phrase or the word is that Emily put on the screen. Okay, so that's how you have to win. You must do that before 7 a.m. Pacific time. So for those of you who watch the show a little bit later, you come home from work and that's when you watch the show, you absolutely can do that, but you have to watch and send your email in by 7 a.m. Pacific time the following day. Okay, so if you're wondering what we're giving away today, Fabulous, amazing, fun game here. I'm going to put it right up here. Uh, Penguins on Ice. This is a math activity set. Really cool game. This is put out by Learning Resources. There it is. And uh, you want to find a really exciting way to work on math skills. This is a spectacular game. We're going to have uh, Aaron Hoffman from Lecotech is going to be explaining why this is such a great game and why Lecotech has recommended this particular toy. And again, it's from Le Learning Resources, a great company. Uh, she's gonna be explaining that to us in just a few minutes. And the other toy that we're gonna be giving away during this hour is called Squigs. And that is coming to us from Fat Brain Toys. If you haven't been to the Fat Brain Toys website, I'm just gonna tell you now, and we're gonna talk about it a little bit later on in this hour, uh, a remarkable website to find some really cool toys uh, for all all kids but in particular you can look there under dis different classifications of things that are going on with your child to see you know I want to work on fine motor um, so we're going to show you squigs a little bit later on so those are the two toys being given away in this hour penguins on ice and squigs squigs is a great toy it's addictive you're going to love it so both of those things be watching throughout the hour to see the words or phrase but it's important that you know the name of the toy that has to go in the 
subject line and the word or phrase in the body of the email. So those are your rules. A winner will be chosen at uh, randomly of the from the correct responses that come in before or by 7 a.m. Pacific time the following day. Okay, so having said all that, uh, this entire show is meant to be interactive. You guys know that. We appreciate your comments, your questions, your suggestions for topics. Um, we do have we did have some questions that came in yesterday, um, and we didn't have time. We had so many things going on, so I'm going to address those in just a second, uh, or maybe a little bit later on in the show because we uh, we're packed for time as well now. Um, but I will get to answer those questions about different products that we've been showing here and some other things that you guys had asked about. Um, now. Emily's going to show you some of the different ways that you can interact with us. I'm going to remind you that if you go to www.autism-live.com, you can watch the live show there, or you can watch the most recently recorded live show, or you can scroll through and find uh, a, a choices of the most recently recorded live shows to kind of go through and see. But also on that website, we have our live feature, that white box that's next to the computer screen. You can put your cursor there, type away, hit enter, and that will show up on my screen. I, I am reminding myself and you that there is a little bit of a time lag, so make sure you put your questions in early, especially if they're for somebody who, who's here in the studio. If you're not, if you're watching the show and it isn't live, you can still ask questions just to make sure that you reference what it is you're talking about. So if you say, I want to know more about this toy or where to get this toy say which one it is so I know which toy you were talking about again I remind you it's totally free there is no login you're not going to go through those 14 forms and put all your information in and then have to you know figure out what the crazy letters and words are <laughs> to see that you're a human being you just type and hit enter and it shows up here the good news about that is, is that it's quick and it's instant and it's totally free the bad news is if you ask us to get back to you about something I have no way of doing that we, we have no way of tracking you um, so that you can preserve your anonymity and if you want us to get back to you specifically about something put information in there that allows me to get back to you okay and uh, like I said be specific we absolutely love it when you interact with us on the live feature um, um, but there are lots of other ways, as Emily showed you, to interact. And we hope that not only will you participate, but we're asking, especially while we're doing this holiday giveaway, tell your friends that we've got some interesting stuff going on here because we want to be a resource for you and yours. We look at autism from a 360-degree perspective. And by the way, we have more and more people joining us that autism maybe isn't the, their concern, but if you have a loved one who needs to build a skill in a certain area, we welcome you. Uh, whatever the diagnosis is or isn't, we welcome you. But we do uh, talk about a lot of things that have to do with seeing progress with a child on the autism spectrum or for a teenager or a young adult. And it doesn't matter at all whether you're the parent of that child, the teacher of that child, the practitioner working with that child, or you yourself are someone who is on the autism spectrum. We welcome all the viewpoints. We, uh, we know that the best thing that we can do is be a resource here to help you to get the answers that you're looking for because autism is not a one size fits all. And, and as I say that, I, I always like to remind you at the start of the show that I'm not an expert in autism. I am uh, a mom of a child who was diagnosed with autism at the age of two and a half. He's 10 now. Uh, so there are many of you out there who have much more experience in the field of being an autism parent than I do. Um, but what I bring to this table is that we were able to get so much help for my son. I really am the luckiest woman alive. I'm going to get emotional here. But... Um, I'm so lucky and I, pro I made a promise on that kitchen floor club that we talk about all the time. I made a promise on the kitchen floor that if I could know what to do to help my son that I would turn around and provide as much information as I could to as many parents as I could find. And we're, <laughs> we're doing our level best here. But help us out. Tell, tell somebody if they need a resource because this is a great way and remember you can write in and ask an expert a question here and you won't get a bill. It's all free. And how 
how much do I love that? Very proud to be able to say that. And win something fabulous while you're here. Uh, we know these are tough economic times. So uh, let's get to it because we've got a lot to cover today. We like to start every morning with something we call the jargon of the day. This is when we take on one word, one phrase, one crazy mixed up an uh, acronym and try to put it in terms that we can understand so that we can be useful and be a part of a team that's getting something done. So our uh, jargon for today is uh, imaginative play. Since we're talking about toys, we got to talk about play, right? We talked on Tuesday about symbolic play, taking a toy and making, endowing it with different, uh, taking something that isn't typically a toy, like a bar of soap or a stick and endowing it with qualities to make it something else, making it symbolic of that thing. So imaginative play, here is our actual definition. It is using an imagination to create objects, locations, scenarios, and situations where they do not already exist for the purpose of play. Okay, you know, it's not the worst definition, but let's see if we can't make it a little bit easier to understand. And there it is, making it up making it up. How do we totally make up something that isn't even there? We always talk about building that imagination in our kids. So we, we start with those functional pretend toys that are sort of the scaled down version of, I'm thinking of like all the, the play food and, you know, the child makes the hamburger and they and pretend to eat and they're holding something that actually looks like a hamburger but it's just scaled down and it's plastic right and we're pretending and then maybe we don't have that toy anymore we go to symbolic and the child uh, rips up pieces of paper and we pretend that they're bread and we put a green piece of paper in and it becomes the lettuce and we pretend to eat that now it doesn't look anything like a real sandwich but we're pretending and we're endowing it with those qualities and then imagination you know we can it can be nothing. It can, we can make it up and it, it, as if it's not there and pretend that we're eating imaginary sandwiches. When, when we scale up in that way and broaden a child's mind so that they can play imaginatively, it's the sky's the limit of what you can do. Uh, children get so excited when they realize there's no boundaries. It helps them with flexible thinking. It helps them actually to be able to problem solve later on in life. So, uh, and think about all the different ways that imagination can be used, all the different possibilities. And we can't just expect that imagination is going to show up in our kids, but we can very slowly through this, you know, know, functional pretend play, symbolic play to imaginative play, open up a world for them that's very exciting. And part of that is using toys. So that's why we're doing Toy Festival this week. Okay, uh, we always have a question for you at the start of the show, something that we love for you to answer on Facebook. It helps you to sometimes vent and get things off your chest, but other times to help other people know a question to ask. So our question for you today is, where do you like to buy educational toys? There's lots of different resources out there, and this is a way that you can not only share information, but take a look at the things that people post on Facebook to see where is everybody getting their toys from. We've got some amazing resources for you today that are going to help you uh, put some new tools in your tool belt uh, or some old favorites. You may know about some of these different things. Okay, so again, our topic this entire week, because we always have a topic of the week, our topic this week, uh, wouldn't Santa be proud of us? Toys, toys, toys. We know that for a lot of you around the world, uh, next week will, uh, even this week maybe, you're going to go and start spending some money on things, presents that you want to get for somebody that are meaningful and perhaps help them in their development. So we're really devoting time this week to, we've invited all these guests to be on the show and show us some of their hot toys and why they're so great for our kids. They're reinforcing to our kids, but they build skills. So our lineup today, you ready for what we have on the schedule today. We're going to start out with Aaron Hoffman's going to be here from LecoTech. This is an amazing, amazing uh, organization that builds play skills and they have a lending library of toys uh, that you can do play therapy with them and you can come in with your little wheelbarrow and pick the toys for your child um, and take them home and play with them uh, for a month or two months, bring them back and trade them in for new toys. What a concept, right? 
right? But Lefotec also goes through the process of vetting toys for kids with special needs. They, they look at toys and they say, here's what's great about this toy. This will build this skill, this skill, this skill. You may have seen in the Toys R Us uh, catalog for differently abled children, all the different rating systems that are there for a different toy. And it shows, well, this toy works on uh, gross motor. Uh, this toy works on fine motor. That rating comes from Lacotech. A Lacotech is the one who uh, looks at all those toys and says, here's what this toy could be used for. So Erin is going to be with us in just a few minutes. She's going to be talking about Lacotech and talking about a couple of toys uh, that she has sent to us from learning resources, in particular, that one that I was showing you a couple of minutes ago, Penguins on Ice. We're excited about hearing about this and some of the other toys that she wants to share with us. A little bit later on, in fact, in the next hour, we're going to have a representative from Wicked Cool Toys. And believe me, they live up to their name. He's going to be showing us three different things. When I tell you that the toy that we're giving away next hour, it, you know, put on your seatbelts and get ready. It's pretty, don't go anywhere. It's so exciting. Uh, amazing, amazing toy. And he's going to show show us three different uh, sets of things and we oh, great giveaway. I don't want to give it away yet. Uh, and also in this hour, a little bit later on in this hour, wonderful, wonderful resource for finding great toys. Fat Brain Toys is going to be with us. And don't you just love the title of that? Because we all want to have a fat brain, don't we? Uh, they have some remarkable, remarkable toys. They're such a great resource and, and we're going to hear from them exactly why uh, if you've got a child on the autism spectrum, you've got to spend a few minutes on the Fat Brain Toy site. And believe me, it's one of those things that you're going you're gonna to want to spend more than a couple of minutes. So really exciting stuff. I'm so thrilled with all of our guests that are going to be with us. We're going to take a break and we're going to come back with Leco Tech with Aaron Hoffman. Stick with us. <laughs> Hi, we're at the Toys R Us in Porter Ranch, California. And Emily and I are gonna take a little tour around the store and find some great toys for some great kids. All right, let's go. Come with us. Yes. Okay, bring your dinosaur and come on. Let's go look at things in the game aisle. I okay. Know, I know you love games. I do love games. All right. So here we are in the game aisle, uh -huh. Emily, and I want to show you that there's all these games that you can get for kids of all ages. They're interactive and really remarkable. One of the hot toys this year and many other years is the Bop It toy. Okay, so what about the Bop It? It's so reinforcing. Well, you know what? It can be interactive. It can be a social game. It makes lots of noises. Sometimes they light up depending on the version. It helps to work on fine motor skills and it helps to work on fluency. This toy will grow with the child and in fact you can get it in different versions. This is a little bit more complex version and up top here we have one that's especially for older kids. It's called the Smash the Light. I would wait until a child is older to play with this one. So should we check out the Lego aisle? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. So how can we use Legos to help our kids? Well, they're really spectacular toys for our kids because they work on executive functions and planning. They're really colorful. You can work on colors and grouping and matching, counting, because they have the little dots on the top. And if you have a younger child, you can start with the Duplo toys that are compatible with Lego and will, they don't have the choking hazard. So then as the kids get older, What's great about Legos, it looks like, is that there's all sorts of themes. We've got movies here, yeah. and video games, so the kids can really connect with what's personal to them. So Legos are amazing, but what else do we have to see? Uh, let's look at some educational toys in the leapfrog aisle, shall okay. we? Okay. Okay, so what do you have here? Well, we're in the leapfrog aisle. This particular toy, very popular this year, is a leap reader. It comes with a little pen, and it tells us that we're going to read, write, and listen, all skills that we want to work on with a child. Cool. This pen that's in this box, you can put it over different pages in the book. It will read aloud child. They can trace their letters. It reinforces them for doing a great job. It's a really spectacular toy for our younger kids that are working on reading, writing, and listening. This looks like a lot of fun and a really great way to help our kids learn to read and write. Absolutely. What else are we going to play with today? I think we should take a trip down the functional pretend play aisle. 
this is where you're gonna find all the things that are like real, but the toy version. So okay. I've got this lovely set here that's all fresh vegetables. So I'm teaching nutrition at the same time. They're all appropriately colored. I've got a knife so I can be cutting them too. This is really great play for a young child. Shannon, I heard you got some toys that I get to play with now. Yes, I'm gonna take you to the demo table. <laughs> we're gonna let Emily play with some toys and we're gonna be giving some of these toys away on the show. But they're not just any toys. These are toys that are featured in this year's Toys R Us toy guide for differently abled children. And this is put together with the help of our friends at Leco Tech. So what do all these different icons mean? These are different icons that tell us what skill this toy might help to develop in our children. So can I play with the toys now? Yes, it's time to play with the toys, Emily. So I think I recognize this guy. Yes, this is the ever popular and very sweet Elmo. But this is a very specific Elmo that teaches adaptive skills, like zippering. Yeah, yeah, almost, you're now trying a zipper. <laughs> and so we get the reinforcement of Elmo talking to us when we do these things. There's a Let's keep playing so it encourages okay. the child to continue to interact. And he's very reinforcing. When he <laughs> giggles, I just want to hug him and play with him some more. Okay, so moving on, let's look at some Melissa and Doug toys. These are incredible toys. They'll okay. last several different generations because they're made out of good quality wood. Awesome. And let's start with a lace and trace toy. Now, I happen to know that you love turtles, I Emily. do love turtles. And this is a set of farm animals lace and trace. And the child can pick out a color that they like for a lace. All right. And there are lots of different things that they can do with this. And I know it might seem like this is an old fashioned toy, but you know, sometimes the old fashioned toys are the best toys. Because what you're doing right now, Emily, is that you're using a lot of hand eye coordination and you're using the pincer grasp. This is a precursor to writing right here. If you've got a child who's having difficulty holding a pencil, this is a really reinforcing way to work on this. And it comes in lots of different things. And then also for Melissa and Doug, we have this amazing switch and spin. Love this so much. This is a great cause and effect toy. As we start to put the gears together, we notice that when, when you turn one, another one can turn. You can rearrange this and do it in lots of different ways. There are 10 design boards, so you don't don't have to just do fish, there are other things that you can put there instead. That's awesome. Kids love this toy and it's another Melissa and Doug toy. Cool. Alright, let's take a look at some fun games. So I found this game and it's called Fibber. So Shannon, I'm going to need you to put on your fibbing glasses. I want a fib. Alright, so this game is totally reinforcing <laughs> and it helps our kids to work on lying. Yes, and that's something we really, I know it sounds strange, but we want to work on that because being able to tell a lie is something that helps with safety issues. And also being able to tell if somebody else is lying is a really useful life skill. What you need to do is get rid of your cards without trying to grow your nose, kind of like Pinocchio. Okay. But if you get caught. Ah, and so eventually you can have a whole string of noses attached to the end of your nose. Very colorful. Again, we can be working on the colors, kind of hilarious. Uh, a kid's going to want to play this with mom or dad and see that mom is Pinocchio telling lots of lies. I like this game a lot. This is a great game. We've had a really great time at Toys R Us and all of the toys that you see here on the table we're going to be giving away on the show. So stay tuned to find out how you can win one of these great toys. Welcome back. This is day three of our Festival of Toys. And right now, joining us via Skype, we have Erin Hoffman from Lecotech. Erin, are you there? There she is. So thrilled to have you back again. We're huge fans of Lecotech. For viewers who don't know, tell us what Lecotech is. So Lecotech is a toy lending library for children that have special needs and including their families. So we really believe that toys and play empower children to meet developmental milestones and it really helps them be included in their family as well as their community. Wonderful. And we, we uh, put up on the screen that you're a Lecotech genius because you are. Uh, that's our title for you. But tell, tell the folks at home what your title is. Uh, my title at Lecotech is the Manager of Industry Relations and Partnerships. So I'm really able to work with the toy industry and get really fantastic toys in our libraries for our families to uh, loan out every month. And you, and that's why we dubbed you the Lecotech Genius, because you are. Mm -hmm. We just showed our Toys R Us segment, and I mentioned before that it's Lecotech that did all of the, the ratings on those toys and the beautiful uh, Toys right. R Us uh, 
catalog for toys for differently abled children. Uh, remarkable, remarkable resource. And Erin, you've joined us today to introduce us to some really great toys that Lecotech has already looked at and, and found to be really effective working on different skills for children with autism, correct? Correct. Yep. We, we definitely, we, we get to review a lot of toys and we narrow it down to the about a hundred that are in the guide. And so I've narrowed it down a little bit further for you and uh, I have some toys to share. So show so us. So I'll start here with, um, he, this is Frankie the Hanky Whale and he's really great for little ones to stimulate sensory processing. So this is a really great toy for them. Cool. Um, the other one I have for little young kids is this um, Pika Blocks shape sorter and this is really great for eye hand coordination and the clear box is really great so they know where their pieces are going after they play and then i also have the farmer's market back here but i have a bucket to share here this has fruits and vegetables and all kinds of things to sort that are really brightly colored and it's great for um, object recognition and color recognition so this one's a really fun one and they're really great bright colored pieces in the bucket here Cool. Um, and then we also have the Magic Moves wand, and I am a little biased. I love this one. Um, this has over 90 different moves for kids to try out. So they might leap like a lizard or fly like an eagle, and it's all up to their interpretation and like your word of the day or jargon of the day, imaginative play. This is really great, and there's no wrong answer when you're playing with uh, the Magic Moves wand. Awesome. And then uh, the Touch Magic Learning Bus is really great by leapfrog and this is nice because it it's, uses a sensitive touch and every spot on this bus is um is usable so the, even touching the tires it would make a little noise um and the alphabet and all the different uh characters on the bus so it's really nice for kids that need to work on their isolated finger movements or they have a physical disability this is a really great um product and they're they come in all different shapes, shapes and sizes and and different uh noises we do love leapfrog leapfrog makes yes. some incredible stuff okay what else do you have there to show me all right then i have this penguins on ice back here which is really great for young kids when they're starting to learn math and they're doing ab patterning or adding or subtracting or or just uh, matching um it really helps bring in the 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 kind of abstract learning of math uh, and make it more tangible for them. It's a great visual and tactile way to learn about math. So and this you, one's a really great one. And you have sent us one of these that we're going to be giving yes. away today. So that's that a very, and we're going to talk more about it in a second. But what else do you have there, Erin, before we go to All break? Right. So then we have the Stack and Stay Hamburgers by Step 2, which are really great because they ease the frustration um, when you're stacking them. They won't fall apart. So you stack it, and it's good to go, and you have your whole hamburger ready to serve up for your imaginative pretend play. So that's really great. And then uh, this one's really fun, Telestrations. This is a great, fun family game. Um, it, I call it a mix of telephone and Pictionary. So it, it hybrids those two games together, and it makes it a really fun family game. These are, and, you got one more there? Yep, last one is the Answer Buzzers, also by Learning Resources and also a great giveaway for you guys. Yes. Um, there are four set of fours and they all make different noises. I have one here. You can press it and that made a boing sound, which is really fun and helps kids that um, might not have verbal language to, in, you know, in, uh, to be able to be a part of a a game or a, or something that they're playing with their siblings. And Erin, where can they find out more about Lecotech and some of these different toys? You've got two different sites, correct? Right. So we have lecotech.org, L-E-K-O-T-E-K.org, and you can find a lot about our centers there that we have where you can actually go and uh, be a part of our program and get uh, monthly sessions to, to have products to take home. And then you can also go to ableplay.org, A-B-L-E play.org and that is where we write up lots of different um, reports on products like step two and learning resources where we're um, able to give families further information than the box would state so it would have more skill ideas that the child would be able to gain from using the product um, it would also give them uh, any adaptations which never changes the integrity of the product but an adaptation um, that might work for their child could be on our ableplay.org website so before you spend any money on toys you want to go there and take a yeah. look at how Lecotech has has reported on it Correct. 
We're going to take a short break and we're going to come back and Erin's going to talk specifically about some of the learning resources, uh, things that she, items that she was talking about a second ago. We're going to talk about penguins on ice. We're going to talk about these answer buzzers. And then there's one more that we're going to talk about as well. I can't even reach my box. So uh, stick with us because we're going to come back and talk about these in depth and you guys can ask Erin questions. We'll be right back after these messages. Hello, fellow activists. In our last segment, we talked about step number two, educate yourself. Step number three is get support. Now, any journey can feel overwhelming if you feel like you're walking it alone. Well, you're far from alone because with one in 50 kids diagnosed with autism today, there are a lot of us out there. Of course, there's always the issue of financial support. Now, there's a handful of organizations out there that offer financial support to families in need. Act Today, or Autism Care and Treatment Today, is one of them. Visit our website at www.act-today.org to find out more about our grant process. I want to talk about a different kind of support today, emotional support. Now, you can get that from other travelers on this path. Some of the best advice I've ever received is from the moms of other kids with autism who went to school with Wyatt or were involved with programs with him. Then there are the pioneers. These are the families that have gone through this years ago and there was very little information out there. All of these people seem to have the desire to pay it forward. Now one of them, Lisa Ackerman, who is one of my mentors, started an organization called TACA, Talk About Curing Autism. She actually took the concept of mentors and support groups and made it available to everybody. You can go to their website, talkaboutcuringautism.org, to find out more. During the first and most difficult year, after Wyatt's diagnosis, I wrote an email to close family and friends, letting them know what was going on and the challenges our family was facing and why we dropped out of sight. I was amazed at the outpouring of love and affection and all the help I received from that email. First, you have to be vulnerable. You can't be afraid to ask. Try this out. Could you cook me a meal? Are you going to the market? Can you pick me up a few things? Could your kids play with my kid and make them feel included? Or can you come over and clean my house? Well, maybe not that last one except with your best friend. And maybe the best support of all is having someone that listens. And that doesn't cost a dime. So until next time, surround yourself with the loving kindness of others and keep the faith. Welcome back to Autism Live and to our Festival of Toys. We have with us right now Erin Hoffman from Lacotech Toys. And she has sent us uh, three different toys from Learning Resources, a great and trusted company. And these are toys that Lacotech has, has looked at and reviewed. And Erin, tell them the website that they can go to again to look at the different uh, items that you have been able to review and talk about? Sure, so that's ableplay.org, A-B-L-E-P-L-A-Y.org. Great resource. Go there before you spend money because you're going to find toys that uh, experts have already looked at and, and you'll find all the different ways that uh, this toy can be used with a child to their benefit. So, and uh, we're going to take just a couple of minutes to talk about these three toys from Learning Resources. Uh, and we're going to be giving these toys away. This uh, Penguins on Ice, we're going to start with. It's the toy we're giving away in this hour. And then in subsequent days, we'll let you know when we're going to give the other two toys away but Aaron talk to us about this awesome penguins on ice I just get so excited when I see a toy like this because I see so many possibilities yeah definitely I mean this product has hundred and ten pieces in it so there are ten um, trays like you see here and then there's a hundred penguins and they're all a variety of colors and so it really helps kids put that math concepts into a you know a tangible um, form so, you know, they could practice A-B patterning. Everything, it's blue and then another color blue, another color all the way down. Or they can add, they could subtract. The trays all connect in a line. 
We're having a little bit of a, a she froze for a second there. But so I'm gonna keep talking about this till we get her back. But uh, if you have a child that's preschool or in kindergarten or even first grade, this is an amazing toy. There are so many different ways that a therapy, therapist can work on this and that you can work on this with your child. If you think about, even in the beginning, sorting toys, um, even before a child uh, fully understands colors and the concepts of colors, you want to be giving them some sort of uh, item that they can sort and put in different cups and you're gonna demonstrate it for them first. So you get your, your big red solo cups from your last party and you take and you put one yellow penguin in one and a blue one and a green one and then you give the child and, and you can work on it first just with yellow and say put the yellow ones in the cup they're beginning to get that receptive yellow you're not even working on yellow yet but being able to look at the different eventually you work up to three different cups and the child looks and says okay well the yellow ones go in here and they sort out all the yellow ones and then the blue ones and the green ones in the different cup then we can start to work on the color recognition and and using all these different colors. So we got Aaron back now. Can you see me? Are you there? You I see you, Aaron, but I don't hear you. Oh no! You can't hear now me. Now we're having sound difficulty. Up. Oh, maybe it's me. Aaron, are you there? Yep. Yeah. Okay. You hear me? Yes. Now I can hear you. It was me. Okay. That... Good. Sorry. I don't know what happened. No. It's the, it's the internet. It happens. But I was okay. just talking about some of the beginning ways that you can use this product, working up to counting to 10 and then eventually counting to 100. This makes it visual. It's incredible. Right. right. I love this. Um, and it says here on the box, Erin, you can work on number sense. You can work on counting and sorting patterns, operations, so helping them to add and subtract and eventually multiply. Um, hundreds of different concepts that you can work on with this. We absolutely love it. I, I don't, we probably can't get on the back here, but it shows you, for instance, how you can be working on addition. So um, that you can work on three and ha represent that with three yellow ones plus two the two blue penguins right. equals five right. and then down here if you see um, I'm not quite right right here where it says 10 plus three and we're showing with the physical penguins this is what it looks like it I can tell you when my son was taught how to count to 100 it had to be done visually because he couldn't get it and it was done visually this is an amazing toy I guarantee you're gonna find a hundred different uses for it uh, spectacular and well made too yes agreed Truly and if they don't want to do math with it they can just play with the penguins <laughs> yes uh, yes and they're just as cute as they can be and penguins are very popular with kids right now right. so amazing yes. learning resources toy so Erin do you want to talk about answer buzzers next sure yeah definitely okay so answer buzzers come um, in a set of four and they have ones that make noises which I have here they ding dong and boing <laughs> Um, and do uh, doorbells and that kind of thing. And then they also have ones that um, make animal noises. So they're, these are really great for a child that possibly doesn't have um, the verbal skills to answer a question or raise their hand in class, in, excuse me, in the classroom setting. So this could be a great tool for them to be able to get someone's attention or to um, answer a question and, and, they're, and they sound fun and they're easy to um, place on a desk or mount with some Velcro. So these are some great adaptations that we would use on ableplay.org. Um, by giving people other ideas to use with um, these products. I absolutely love this. And uh, I, I know we, at one point, one of our therapists has gotten us one of those staples buttons that, that says oh, that was easy. Button. And, yeah. and, they, and they used just one of them, a Staples one, with Jem for a little while that he loved hitting the little button. And so if he would get an answer correct, he got to hit the button. Yeah. And, um, and so yeah. imagine you got all the different colors and different sounds, how reinforcing that can be for a child. Yeah. Definitely. Really remarkable. And this is also from Learning Resources, another great, great game. And then I'm so thrilled. This literally just arrived. Um, and I, I was so excited because I didn't think it was going to get here in time. Uh, the Farmer's Market Color Sorting Set. I love this toy. Tell us, and, and I know you love it too, Erin. Tell us what you love about it, and then I'll tell you what I love about it. Okay, well, this one I just love because the, they're so bright and visual and they look real, and so they're really fun to inspire that pretend play or imaginative play in kids. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it sneaks in a little bit of learning, which we really love at Lecotech. Um, they have the fruits and vegetables in here, and they all match.
match different colors. So there might be a yellow pepper and a banana, and you can use the different buckets to sort the different colored fruits and vegetables. So it's really great for not just pretend play, but also to have that learning um, inspired during play as well. Absolutely, and so you get the five different bushel baskets and 25 fruits and vegetables. There's an activity guide that comes with it. So a total of 30 pieces, and as you mentioned, you know, how we know that we have to get vegetables and fruits um, introduced into our child's diet, and playing them we know, research has been done that it's very uh, effective at helping to, you know, make that transition happen. I was mentioning to Aaron during the break that on the A word that we show here, the documentary following uh, Jack Riley, you can see that Jack Riley, when he starts therapy, they all they have to do is show him a banana, and for whatever reason, that child bursts into tears when he is just two years old. He'll eat a mashed banana, but if he sees the yellow banana, he's traumatized. And through playing with plastic and wooden fruits, they systematically desensitize. You can watch on the series how it happens to the point where he can see a banana and eventually peel a banana and eat it. Um, so, you know, you can't underestimate the power of these kinds of toys and, and the, the ability to sort them and, and to learn these different things. I'm sure we've all seen Jamie Oliver in classrooms in... Uh, high school classrooms holding up an eggplant and asking kids to say what it is and you know half of them don't know right. um, we we need to make sure that our kids get an early education about fruits and vegetables and this is a great way to start make it a toy and a colorful toy I just I just love this Aaron this is one of my favorites yeah and different shades too I mean here's a pumpkin yes. and an orange well do they are they both orange in color so do you you put them in the in the bucket you know so it teaches different shades of colors as well because not everything is orange like an orange you know absolutely and as you said this uh, you know I at first glance I would look at this and see functional pretend play which we absolutely love but there are so many because it's the farmers market and there's five buckets there's so much that they can do here they can set up a little store and work on math skills uh, pretend to be the cashier it's just endless what you can do with this set of toys love it I'm so glad you picked this Aaron and and um, these toys are also featured in the Toys R Us guide this year correct correct yes they are uh, really, really amazing. Erin, I just, I can't tell you how much I love Lecotech and I love these learning resources. All three of these toys we're going to be giving away between now and December 20th, but today we're giving away that Penguins on Ice. Please tell learning resources how thrilled we are to have these toys and how much we appreciate them. And, and thank you to everybody at Lecotech, but most especially you because you are our personal Lecotech genius. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. It's a, a, our pleasure, and uh, we'll have you back on the show real soon. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Erin. So we, wonderful, wonderful toys, and, and somebody will, will win these. Again, today it's the Penguins on Ice, um, and then this fabulous Farmer's Market, and the answer buzzers will be giving away on another date, and we'll make sure to tell you when that is. Uh, make sure you're watching for the word or phrase when Emily puts it up. We're going to take a break, and we're going to come back with fat brain toys. I just love saying it. Fat brain toys, really remarkable resource, you guys, for toys, and you can look up specifically on their website if there's a skill you're wanting to work on, if the teachers have said, you know, we really need to see more happening in the fine motor, you can go to their website and look under fine motor and find great things. So stick with us back with Fat Brain. You say howdy, we say hi. Let's get right, let's get wild. Let's get, let's get, 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 let's get wild. Hi, it's Lisa Ackerman back for What's Left. I got a nice guest with me today. Hi, I'm Kristen. We're gonna make some healthy uh, banana nut bread um, with no eggs. Maybe what you could do, Kristen, I'm gonna add the flour. Okay. If you can uh, get the bananas ready uh, just by mashing them for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our flour. Here's one cup of my all-purpose flour. I'm gonna go ahead and add my baking soda and my salt and my xanthan gum. A half teaspoon of the salt one teaspoon of baking soda 
and xanthan gums. Xanthan gum is great, but the, you can also use gar gum. Uh, we can use flaxseed meal if we want to use a different binder. Remember, this is what helps keep your gluten-free flour held together. We're going to also add one cup of our organic cane sugar. There's a lot of variations on this as well. Um, I can use maple syrup and honey and cook with it. Um, that's a great way to go, uh, but be careful. You may need to add some more flour into the mix. How are you doing, monkey? I think. <laughs> I think it's perfect. I can now say I officially mashed bananas. <laughs> you mashed the monkey <laughs> bananas. So I'll go ahead and take your mashed okay. monkey banana. <laughs> Thank you very much. All we did, Kristen, lovely Vanna White, um, is mash up the bananas, getting ready to go for our dessert. So let's go ahead and add egg replacers. We've gotten a lot of feedback from y'all about not using eggs, and I know eggs are a big issue. So. We talked about this, um, we're gonna use a little flaxseed meal and arrowroot starch, and I love these, but whenever we use a dry ingredient, and you know an egg has a lot more moisture than these, yeah. so we wanna be a little kind and maybe add a little water, okay. or more fruit, or you know a coconut milk, or something along those lines. So for this recipe, it calls for two eggs, so I'm actually gonna use one teaspoon of each of these. Look at me using measuring devices and add that into my mix, and um, that will be in replace of any eggs that you would want in that recipe. Next up is the cinnamon and the nutmeg. This gives it the yum. Now, uh, for kids who are really sensitive to, to um, different spices, you may want to go a little lighter on these. So um, for nutmeg, this calls for an eighth of a teaspoon, so you really want to go light on the nutmeg. Um, in fact, that's one you could probably cut back a little bit for kids who are really sensitive to smell or taste. And cinnamon, I love cinnamon. Did you know cinnamon has some antibacterial it properties? Is. Yeah. I love this stuff. So anytime I can add cinnamon to whatever, if your kid tolerates it, it's a great antibacterial. So I love that stuff. If you have a nut allergy, forget the nuts. But these are uh, the chopped walnuts per the recipe. This is a half cup of chopped walnuts, and I've got my lemon zest. Mm. And again, I love lemon zest. My son has grown to love it as I cook for him more often. And then the last thing that we're going to add here in our recipe is the half a cup of oil. Thanks, you Vanna White. You're welcome. And we'll go ahead. I use grape seed. You can also use the, um, the different um, Earth Balance soy-free margarine melted. Oh, oh, okay. That would be great. That gives a good texture. Awesome. Our mix is ready to go, Kristen. I'm going to put a little oil on the pan. And I love the consistency. Like you were saying, this looks a little bit like a thick pancake mix. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I think so. I just want to make sure I'm not the <laughs> one that doesn't make it come out. So again, it is a bit of a thicker texture. I'm going to go ahead and grab as much as I can out of my little mixing pan here. Hmm. So let's go ahead and All put right. this in the oven, 350 degrees for about 40 to 50 minutes, depending upon your oven and how long you want it to cook. Ooh. And this is what the finished product looks like. Yum! Mm -hmm. Looks so yummy. For me, this is probably one of the most nutritious, fun things that I can eat. I'm going to have you try some Ooh. so you can tell me what you think. I'll be happy to be the guinea pig. <laughs> Such Ooh, a great it smells texture. so good. So there you go. Yummy. I know. But go ahead and give it a shot and <laughs> tell me what you think. Let me see. That is really good. Yeah. It's moist, it's too. Thank you for joining us here at Autism Live. We've got a great, wonderful snack or breakfast um, that we can serve up for our kids. That's healthy, ready to go. Kristen, thanks for joining me Thank this time. Thank you for having me. Love having fun. you here. And we'll see you next time at Autism Live. What's left? If you have any questions, you can email us at autismlive at gmail.com or hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash autismlive. And if you need more recipes while we're in between shows, go off to the TACA website, tacanow.org. Click on gluten-free, casein-free, soy-free recipes and have a ball. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. You say howdy, we say hi. Let's get let's get let's get let's get
Welcome back to Autism Live. So thrilled to be here. We have very special guest that's joining us via Skype, Kathy Lorkovic, and she is with us from Fat Brain Toys. Kathy, I just love saying the name Fat Brain Toys. I can't <laughs> stop saying it. Uh, you know, it never gets old. It doesn't. And thank you so much for being here. I want to start by giving you just a minute here to tell our viewers about Fat Brain Toys and why it's such an amazing resource for so many families for great toys but in particular if you're looking for something to help with a certain skill right you know it really is I honestly believe it's just the perfect perfect place for me to work because I do feel that connection to really helping families um, the on the home page of the website there's a section at the bottom left that would be really important for your viewers to know about that is called the the toys for special needs section and if you click there, it just leads to a wealth of resources. So families and caregivers can go there and find things, all kinds of toys for all kinds of ages um, that are grouped by development. So you can actually target the skill you're working on with your child. Let's say that you wanna help your child um, to help them with their sensory issues. You want some visual and tactile things that are just right on target with what they need. You'll find what you're looking for there. And um, maybe you're working on gross motor skills, fine motor skills. You're wanting them to help them with handwriting or even standing balancing coordination you'll find things to help your child there um, maybe you're just working on interaction social skills you'll find the things that you need there um, th even things like attention and um, managing maintaining control of emotions things like that so it's just a fabulous resource it really is and i don't think a lot of people know about it but to know that on the home page on the bottom left corner of the fat brain toys website you'll find that toys for special needs resource it's also it's remarkable you, yes tell us about the other feature that's there as well and um, what you'll also find there is a specific section called toys for autism and that particular link all of those toys were recommended to us by therapists and teachers so you can know that what you're finding there is highly recommended it comes endorsed okay so um, that's helpful for families in addition Another thing that the website has that's really unique, um, just within the last few months, this has come live on our website, um, for years we've been collecting information from caregivers and parents, real feedback, honest reviews of what worked and what didn't work with their special needs child with this particular toy. So if you, on the product page, if you're looking at a toy, if you scroll down underneath that picture image, you'll come to um, a link there that says Toys for Special Perspectives. And if you click into that, you will be able to find all kinds of ideas and um, thoughts on you know was it durable did it last did it hold up to my child's needs did it maintain their attention all of that is there for you to access so those are just a couple of the reasons why I, why I really think the website is something that fat brain toys website is something special um, and it, and it is remarkable, but we don't want to leave out the fact that you have really cool toys, too. We, do. <laughs> we have the most ever. I think on the website it probably says we still have six to 7,000 toys, but right now we're up to eight. So um, just a tremendous volume of toys that all kinds to choose from. Focus on for us today. Give us sort of an intro to the different toys that we're going to talk about today. Oh, I'd be ple pleased to. Um, squigs is new this year. This is Squigs. It's a, it's a um, creative toy for children, but you know, there are some great things about it that make it specially good for children with autism. Um, it's silicone parts. They're pliable, so it feels really good to play with them, but then they also have a sensory aspect. You can put them together, and that builds that fine motor skills, and then you can pull them apart for some sensory reward to that action. So just great. Builds creativity, builds interaction between kids. Just a great item. Um, another one I want to share with you today is Tangle. Tangle is another um, toy that's just outstanding sensory qualities to it um, it comes in a lot of different varieties there are some tangles that have different textures to them and um, that are different than this one so this one is in particular is like a flocked felt covering but you can see that it twists and manipulates in all sorts of ways and um, just really good for channeling that fidget energy that kids have for maintaining their t attention and mm -hmm. um, just a terrific toy for those reasons okay. um, 
the next one that I wanted to share with you is a ball of wax. This is great for teenagers. You know, it's hard to know what older kids, tweens and teens would want or need or use. This is perfect because the pieces in it are magnetic. They're easy to use. Um, they snap into place easily and it comes with a puzzle book along with it. So if you had a higher functioning child, they could try to make more complex configurations using the puzzle book. So um, that's a, the ball of wax. That's what that's called. And another one I wanted to share with you is Magnetab. This is Magnetab and it's great for fine motor. It helps kids to be able to um, develop some handwriting skills. The stylus included, um, you put it on the board and these magnetic balls actually jump up into place. So there is a, it's a rewarding experience to pull this on the board and feel those magnets jump up towards the pen. Awesome. Just a really great way to help kids with handwriting skills. So those are some of the toys I wanted to share with you today. Uh, wonderful. And today during this hour, we're going to give away the squigs. But at some point during the next, uh, between now and December 20th, we'll give away one of each one of those toys that Kathy just showed you. So re remarkable toys from Fat Brain. And again, what's the name of the, uh, what the website is just fatbraintoys.com, correct, Kathy? Fat Brain Toys. Fat okay. Brain Toys. F -A uh-huh, fatbraintoys.com. Great. We're going to take a short break, and we're going to come back with Kathy and go into a little bit more detail about each one of those toys that she showed you. But don't forget that she mentioned there are thousands of toys, and these are the cool toys. You know when you go to somebody's house or you go to a therapy place and you see these cool toys and you say, where are they getting these really unique, incredible toys that everyone, including the adults, wants to sit down and play with? It's at Fat Brain. So <laughs> make sure that you go to the website and check out what's there. But stick with us because we're going to talk a little bit more about those toys she just showed. We'll be right back. The Institute for Behavioral Training provides courses in applied behavior analysis for the treatment of autism. Access IBTE learning videos on the move and learn at your own pace. IBTE learning makes any location your classroom on the go. So our objectives for today are to really learn what is autism and how is it diagnosed. Get professional guidance with IBT face-to-face -face training. IBT face-to-face -face training courses prepare you to effectively implement ABA-based interventions. Choose between small group and one-to-one -one instruction. Earn BCBA supervision hours via one-to-one -one video conferencing. So I had a chance to review your BIP today. You know what? It looked really good. You did a good job with that. IBT, continuing education courses. Earn credit through webinars, conferences, article reviews, and e-learning videos. You can learn more at ibehavioraltraining.com. IBT, 360 degrees of ABA training. Welcome back to Autism Live. We have with us right now via Skype, Kathy Lorkovic. She is from Fat Brain Toys, which I love saying. And, mm -hmm. I, and I love the image of it. I love the, it's just a clever name because we all want to have fat brains and we all want to have toys. So, mm -hmm. and, and they have incredible toys for kids of all abilities. This is a great place to shop. Uh, if you if you have children that you're buying for that are not on the autism spectrum, go to Fat Brain Toys. You're going to be really gratified by what you find there. But in addition to that, they have great toys for kids uh, that have special needs. And Kathy had mentioned uh, with us in the last segment that if you go to the left side of the web page, there is a section there where you can go for special needs, and you can really break it down and say, "Hey, I just had my IEP, and they were saying that my child needs to work on their fine motor skills." And click on that. You can click on the autism tab you can you know click on those different things to be able to match up the toy that you want to get for your child that's reinforcing but works on that skill that's a way of spending our our toy dollars really wisely which is what this is all about so Kathy I wanted to go back and talk specifically about some of the toys that you mentioned uh, before the break and they're just four of the thousands of toys that you have there. But each one of these toys we're gonna to be giving away in the coming days, and today we're giving away Squiggles. So let's talk a little bit about, show the toy again, and let's talk about who this toy might be great for. Okay, yeah, this is Squigs. 
and it is it's brand new this year it's just a, a newly arrived toy that um, is just great for kids of all abilities um, in particular kids with autism like it and it's helpful for them for different reasons but among them it's really easy to use. It's very intuitive. You push the two pieces together. This is a pliable, high-grade silicone. Okay, and so you push the pieces together, and then as you, if you pull, they pop apart. So you're helping kids with the fine motor yeah. that they need, and it's also helping them with their gross motor, a little bit of muscle strength and coordination to be able to pull the pieces apart. Yeah. Um, so that makes Squigs a great toy. In addition, it, it's just really... Um, satisfying it comes in so many different colors so many different arrangements of shapes that children can really start to construct things just by putting these pieces together so highly creative highly innovative um, good problem solving toy for children with autism and it's um, just so funky fail. looking it's, it's yeah uh, that it's it's, it it's really remarkable you want to you want to sit down and play with it and it feels good in your hands and as you mentioned you know a lot of times we'll uh occupational therapists talk about the big six i can never remember what they are but they're uh hand skills like pushing pulling gra turning grasping all those different things that you know we can work on with a soda bottle right or you could work on it with this. Yeah. And, and and this, to me, you're adding some of the, the, the bigger motions too, and that muscle that sometimes is hard to get to in the arm skills. So yeah. I think that's a really cool toy. And I imagine, you know, age and skill level on this, that, um, I would I would be willing to bet you could set that down in a room full of teenagers and they'd still have a good time with it. Oh, that's been proven, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> have fun with this one in the office so no this is a great toy just easy to connect easy to pull apart very intuitive and the interaction it creates that's probably one of the greatest values for kids with autism is yeah. people are drawn to it yeah. um, kids are drawn into interactions and conversations that they might not have otherwise been so just a really creative innovative way for kids to play and if somebody wants to buy squigs I know we're giving one away in this hour but if somebody wants to buy it they can they can go to fatbraintoys.com and yep. and buy it there yes remarkable right. okay that. great and so let's take a minute now to talk about that tangle because oh, that's sure. a really deceptive toy it looks like it's a really simplistic thing but the things that that toy can do are just amazing right this is it is a Tangle comes in all varieties. So these are just a couple of examples. There are probably, oh, 10 different variations of this toy. And um, this particular one is Tangle Harry, but as you pull it and manipulate it, you can create all different sorts of shapes. You can wind it and twist it up until it becomes a small ball. Okay, so there are all kinds of things that you can, ways that it can be manipulated, but it's truly the tactile aspect of this toy that is most engaging to kids. It helps to f funnel their attention and helps them focus. It does help with the fine motor skills. Um, it can relax and calm kids who are upset. And um, just a really neat toy for a lot of reasons. Um, you know, another thing is that it just, it is another toy that does engage all ages. Yes, so, and, absolutely. You know, even adult would find this satisfying to mess with at their desk. I'm um, just a neat toy for a variety of ages. Absolutely, and I just want to point out, great toy to have in the car. That you know, sometimes when you're going from therapy appointment to therapy appointment, and mm -hmm. your kids need to decompress. Mm -hmm. uh, great toy for that because it's virtually indestructible. It's got that sensory kind of thing that it feels good. There's a, a there's a comfort. I know with my child, there's there's the term disintegrate. Like when something disintegrates, oh. it, it falls yeah. apart, right? But our kids can go to one therapy session and they're 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 focused and they're doing great, and we have to move them to another therapy session or they have to go to the restroom my oh, no transition time yeah there. my son would always disintegrate when you take the word apart he was integrated in in his body and he would start to be, you know lose track of where he was in space and if we gave him a toy like that to play with it helped him to reintegrate great great toy love the tangle toy and and so uh, show us the magnetab again Okay, and the magnet tab, it, it actually comes in a, a few different variations. This happens to be the uppercase letters. Here is the numbers version. And there's also a lowercase letters, and there's one that's a free play magnet tab. So if you want something that's a little less structured, there's a free play 
magnetap. These magnets are embedded safely within this board, so you don't have to worry about them getting out and harming your child. The, the stylus point, you just place it on the board, and as you pull it along, the magnets jump up to touch the stylus, which is just terrific because you can feel it as the magnets jump up there. And so there's some tactile um, involvement and interrelation that goes into helping children to build their fine motor skills or handwriting skills, yeah. things like that. We, we know that handwriting can be really difficult for some of our kids, and, and all of our experts have said giving opportunities, immediate feedback, and reinforcement to build any skill are absolutely essential, and that toy does all of those it things. Does. It does. You know, and one thing I didn't mention, it does erase just by using the tip of your finger. Oh, cool. So that's cool. Really fun. It's a no-fail interaction there. We, we love that. Great, great toy. Again, they can find that at fatbraintoys.com. We'll right. be giving one of those away in the coming weeks, uh, but you can find, you know, because different kids are going to need different things, whether you're working on the numbers, the letters, upper uppercase, lowercase, or as you said, the free play, where you could work on all of that. And uh, and then the last one that I wanted to take a couple of more minutes talking about was the ball of wax. And immediately we hear that and we think W-A-X, but that's not what it is. Right. Here's it's, the spelling. So it's W-H. Yes. A-C-K-S, ball of wax. Um, so this toy, it's just, just a really great interactive magnetic toy. All of these pieces come apart. Um, it's completely a no-fail toy. They, children can rearrange and adjust these however they want. What's great about these is older kids are drawn to them. And sometimes finding toys for teens and tweens is really tough. Yeah. And to find things that look age appropriate for um, a child with autism is even tougher. So this is one of the few toys that does, does that and it does engage all ages. Um, you know the not only just the the pleasant feeling and moving it around and manipulating the magnetic shapes this builds creativity and yeah. um, there are different arrangements you can make it can help you with problem solving abilities this little booklet has all sorts of designs you can re recreate so if there were a higher functioning child you were working with they could recreate something like this a little more complex so um again just another toy that just it really engages a child in moving and manipulating um, a product and giving their own spin to yeah. their ideas. Absolutely. And I would imagine, too, that, you know, uh, a lot of times uh, we'll, we'll do things in therapy where we have to build something and then have the child mirror it. Mm -hmm. um, and this would be another great toy uh, to do that with uh, for planning and things like that. But you could just sit and play with it. And the benefit um, of it, you've got all the fine motor and, and the creativity of it. We talked about that symbolic play and turning all those those little diamonds into something that looks like something else really awesome toy I can't wait to my my son's a tween and we have difficulty getting toys and he would love this yeah it is it's just a neat toy it really is well all, but, but, you know, that's the hallmark of fat brain toys is that you have neat toys that do double and triple and quadruple duty, that they're building those skills, helping to foster that imagination, helping our kids to enjoy themselves and, and maybe right. de-stress while they're playing and while they're building skills. I have to say you guys do it really well. Oh, thanks for that. You know, we try to, we're always on the lookout for what might be best to help kids who really maybe the things that you find common commonly are not the best thing so we're always looking for those hard those gems those hard to find toys that um, just are, have that extra specialness that they are adaptable to a lot of children of different abilities and strengths and I want to uh, once again before we leave you touch on the fact that you have that special perspectives where on your website where they can go and see what other people have said about uh, individual toys and how they use them Correct. Yeah, it's just a tremendous resource. It really is. The feedback has been tremendous. The, um, it's just, it's one thing to have someone in the toy business recommending a toy. It's a completely different thing when it is therapists who've used it, parents who have kids who have these different um, ability levels and, and need to work on different things. And everything is 
so much in their in your language you know if it's just easy to track down what it is that best helps your kids it's a great great resource a great great service that you're doing for everyone awesome toys uh, we like to say you know a lot of times you go to a doctor's office and they just have the most amazing toys and you think where did they get them I guarantee you they got them at fatbraintoys.com. So go there, treat yourself to some cool, cool toys. Kathy, thank you so now, much for being with and us. And I'll just say one quick last thing. You know, sure. I know that a lot of times, at least it's been my experience, um, in trying to identify the right toys that that are durable and are the quality that families expect. Those toys can be expensive, and the prices at Fat Brain Toys are very reasonable, too. So that Oh, might be I'm so glad you mentioned that, because we didn't talk about prices at all, but uh, absolutely uh, wonderful, wonderful, very reasonable, affordable toys, and I'm so glad that you brought that up. Um, and, and I guarantee you, you'll find all kinds of things that you'll want from Fat Brain Toys. Kathy, thank you, and thank everybody thank at Fat Brain Toys for us. And uh, as I mentioned, we're, we, uh, we've now gone past the hour, but so Squigs we're giving away, and then the other toys that she featured will be giving away in the coming weeks. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Take care. So we're going to take a break, go to the A word. When we come back, we have yet another toy company. It's time for Wicked Cool Toys. Uh, and you're going to love some of the different things. And uh, we'll do our announcement about the toy that we're giving away in this hour when we come back. Stick with us. I know a cute little blue-eyed boy, and his name is Jack. He got a big, warm, blue-eyed soul that makes your heart beat fast. I say Jack, Jack, Jack is my buddy. Jack, Jack, Jack is my buddy. Everybody around is so down with Jack. These are the toys that I have. If you go that way, it's lucky to the end. So I have to go this way. I'm just, I'm just remembering this is the school. We have this new graduation with Tree. First, we thought it was pretty cool because he was, um, it was like sight words, like he was mm -hmm. learning how to, how to read the street sign. And that was really cool. But then it turned into his new, um, his new fetish, I guess you can say, where he starts to perseverate on, on the ways to go to like dad's work, or the ways to go to school, the ways to go to camp, and like. It's, I mean, it's cool that he remembers how to go to places, but then it's to the point where if you take a different route, he gets really inflexible. So we're starting to, starting to break it and starting to redirect him to better questions like, oh, you know, why are we taking this street? Or where are we going? Or who's going to be there? Who are we going to see? More questions that are more relevant than street names. Are you playing your map? No. Here's the deal. Listen, you can play on your iPad, but you can't play this game. We're very confident in the school that we're using this year. We're very happy. There are only going to be 14 kids in his class. Um, he's going to have a shadow, a brilliant shadow. So I'm excited about the school year. We already set up uh, goals for him at school. So a lot of them will be, for the most part, will be social goals. But um, we also have goals such as like him um, accepting changes in routine, being flexible about things. Um, and for social goals, we have um, him initiating conversation with peers and also having him be able to make at least two exchanges with the peer, whether it be answering a question or making a similar statement. For instance, like if the kid's like, oh, I like Toy Story, and he could say, oh, I like Toy Story too. Or something else like, oh, I don't like Toy Story, I like, you know, Bugs Life or something. Something else that is relevant and he knows how to use these conversation skills that we've been teaching him at home and trying to generalize it with kids that are his age. So um, come September, I'm going to be shadowing Jack Riley at school every day for three hours a day um, instead of doing home therapy. She's going to try to be noticed as little as possible by the teachers and the students. Um, she's going to help all the kids so as not to stigmatize Jack. Well, the teacher said something very nice in our meeting today, and that is she wants him to have a friend. She wants him to, and, and he has kids he adores, but I don't know that he has a true friend yet where they engage and play together. And so I'm looking forward to that. 
Welcome back to Autism Live. We are day three of our Festival of Toys. And as promised, in just a moment, we're going to be hearing from Wicked Cool Toys. I promised you that we would tell you what the toy was that we were giving away this hour, and I promised you it was going to be something big. In this hour, we are, and we're going to show you this product in just a minute, we are giving away a dollhouse. And it's not just any dollhouse. This is the dollhouse of all of our dreams. Are you ready to see this? Because if you have ever dreamed or, or seen a movie in a dollhouse and said, okay, that's amazing, this is better. Uh, this is, it's my girl's dollhouse and it's the dollhouse that we've all wanted to have. It's the dollhouse we've all wanted to give our daughters. So that is the toy. Make sure that you're, and we're going to show you what this looks like in just a minute, but make sure that you're watching during this hour to see when a word or phrase will flash on the screen. I don't know when it'll happen. I don't even know what the word or phrase is. When you see that, make sure that you write it down. If you want to win the dollhouse, you have till 7 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow morning to send us an email. Emily's going to show you the email address that it needs to go to. And this is the only way that you can enter the contest. Send it to this email in the subject line, write my girl's dollhouse. And then in the body of the email, you want to write whatever the word or phrase was that appears on the screen for just a couple of seconds. My, my heart skips at the, at the beauty of this dollhouse and what it's going to mean to one child this holiday season. Um, and that is being donated to us by Wicked Cool Toys. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's welcome to the show Jeremy Padauer, and he is one of the co-presidents of Wicked Cool Toys. First of all, Jeremy, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much for having us. We, we love the name of your company, Wicked Cool Toys, because it pretty much says it all, but tell us about Wicked Cool Toys. So Wicked Cool Toys is a partnership between myself, uh, a great friend of mine named Michael Rensler, and a, a Hong Kong factory owner named Thomas Poon. And uh, the three of us have been in the toy business for 15 to 20 years. Michael and I go back uh, to Mattel days, and then we, uh, we ran another large company in between, and then we just realized that you know, what's most important for us is, is the freedom to make choices that we'd like to make in our creative process and to also potentially, you know, uh, uh, focus on, um, on our building long-term value uh, through a great, fun toy company that really relies on people, partnerships, and great product. And, and that's what Wicked Cool Toys does. And they're Wicked Cool Toys. I mean, it's, <laughs> it pretty much says it all. And you have different product lines, and one of them is this dollhouse that literally just takes my breath away. Tell us a little bit about My Girl's Dollhouse, and we're going to talk more about it in a minute, but just uh, a brief about, about this brand, this line. Yeah, so uh, My Girl's Dollhouse is the answer to, as you mentioned, a lot of little girls' dreams. Um, <sighs> You know, when you look at the 18-inch doll segment, um, there are something like 40 million dolls that, that include American Girl, Journey Girl, and a whole host of other dolls that fall into that larger-than-Barbie doll experience. But to date, there's really never been a house. So you have 40 million dolls with no home. So, <gasps> it's... You know, what the heck? And it's... <laughs> uh, it's six feet tall, five feet wide. It's all pine wood. Um, it's a really dramatically irrational house. There's no reason in the world why anybody should ever, ever, ever want this thing, but then you see it and you have to have it. It's, <laughs> it is, I mean, honestly, it is every woman's uh, dream. I, I can't imagine a woman who would look at it and, and not go, oh, I want this. Uh, and you have donated one for us to give away today, which is truly amazing. And we're gonna look at some video of it in just a second. But uh, tell us some of the other lines that Wicked Cool Toys carries. So uh, this year, uh, primarily, this is our first year. This is our kickoff year. So in your first year of business, you focus on uh, opportunities at hand. And so our initial launch year, we focused on a lot of boys' properties because that's primarily what we've done in our past. Mm -hmm. um, so we have some of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles business. We have some of the WWE business. 
but also we're launching things like Scannables, which we'll talk about in a bit, which are these really cute interactive plush that you can uh, uh, in, in, enjoy and interact with your mobile device, um, as well as the Wiggles. We've got four feet of space at Toys R Us dedicated to the Wiggles, which is, you know, wonderful, and My Girl's Dollhouse. Remarkable. Uh, Going into next year, um, it's going to be incredible. We have deals with Disney and Marvel and Warner Brothers and Nickelodeon to bring some of the world's um, greatest, most iconic uh, characters to life in toys. The Wicked Cool Toys. It's all about <laughs> that. Uh, great, great name, great branding because it says it all. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna go now to the video of this dollhouse and and take a look at it, and we'll come back and talk about it. But everybody, this is it. The dollhouse yeah. of your dreams. <laughs> I love my doll, but she never had a place to call her own. Then for my birthday, I got my girl's dollhouse. Finally, she has a home and space for all her beautiful accessories too. Almost done. I have so much fun bringing my doll's world to life. Thank you so much. I especially love building it with my dad. When my friends come over, we all hang out at my girl's dollhouse. Together again. There's plenty of room for everything. We can add furniture, decorate, store lots of accessories, even hang up their clothes. With My Girl's Dollhouse, I get to pick the house style I want. It's so easy. You just go online and choose from Cape Cod, Sweet Bungalow, Country French, and Colonial Cottage. You can create any room, make a bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living room, and more. The fun starts when you choose your house. Then, the magic begins when you add the special touches. It won't be long till it feels like home. At last, my doll can enjoy her very own home. Feels like home. My Girl's Dollhouse. Decorate, play, and store. Okay, I was not kidding, was I? <laughs> the, the dollhouse of all of our dreams that everyone has ever wanted to give to their daughter. And it's incredibly well made. I want to talk about that a little bit, but then I want to talk about why dollhouses are so important for kids on the autism spectrum. So Jeremy, tell us about how, how this thing is structured and how awesome this, this dollhouse is. Well, the t there were two things that we wanted to do. A, we knew that it, creating a dollhouse for 18-inch dolls and all the American Girl dolls and Journey Girl dolls and, all, and the dolls that are out there would require us to do something that would be on a little bit expensive. And so it was important to us to develop something with really high quality. And that's why we went with um, wood. And that's specifically, it's a pine frame. It's a really, really strong, sturdy item. And um, at the price point, it's actually not as bad as you might think. Uh, <laughs> when American Girl dolls are running 120 bucks, which is uh, you know a lot of money and it's an investment, um, and then one room of furniture could cost five or six hundred dollars with American Girl. Um, our our entire dollhouse, six feet tall, five feet wide, all completely done is two ninety nine. Um, so it is it's still in the affordable realm. But again, I make no uh, I make no illusion here. It's it's definitely a, a big present, and it was a big responsibility to us to develop something of high quality. Well, I think that that price is amazing for what that is. I've had to buy a couple <laughs> of dollhouses in my life, and you know, none of them were that awesome, and <laughs> and they were close to that price. So I think that that's amazing. And I just want to take a second to talk about why dollhouses are so important. Uh, you know, when my I have a, I have a boy, right? And yeah. and I didn't think that I was. Gonna going to be buying a dollhouse. But as we went to start ABA therapy and we asked for a list, it was about to be my son's third birthday, and we asked for a list of recommended toys for us to have in our house. And at the top of the list, dollhouse. Oh, that's fantastic. And I'll, I I get it. Yeah, I, I didn't get it at the time, but then it was explained to me that there are so many different things that we're going to need to role play and, and different things that we're going to have to teach a child um, that and we want to be able to teach as much as we can in a fun way through using toys. And a lot of it has to do with home and relationships. And, you know, this is the bathroom and, you know, this is the bedroom. And what do we do in the bedroom and what don't we do in the bedroom? And, you know, what do we do in the kitchen? 
kitchen and all these different things that social skills, early social skills that we begin to work on using a dollhouse. Oh, interesting. Fascinating. Yeah. That's, I mean, you're opening my eyes to a whole world. That is absolutely fascinating. And and so, and when I think about, you know, for, for families on the autism spectrum, trying to make those, those dollars go, you know, this is, this is not just a dollhouse. This is something that, you know, the, a, a child, especially a girl, is going to be able to play with for quite a while. The, um, it, it truly is an amazing product and an opportunity to work on so many different things that are going to be important to this child. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's a remarkable dollhouse, honestly, um, and I'm thrilled that somebody is going to be able to get one. But we want to encourage people to go and check out uh, the website that you have have to get more details about the dollhouse so where would they go to find out more about my girls dollhouse so you could go to mygirlsdollhouse.com or you could go to goodtoy.com which is the manufacturing name that we're using for our wood toys okay. uh, we felt like uh, you know wicked cool toys is a great name for promoted toys especially when you're dealing with licensing but why don't you apply it to like something like a high quality wooden dollhouse <laughs> we yeah. wanted to have an alternative <laughs> branding <laughs> so good toy i think tells the story Absolutely. and if you go to goodtoy.com you can see the the mission for our wooden product Remarkable, remarkable, and so thrilled that somebody's going to win one of those. But do go um, to those sites so that you can learn more about them. And Jeremy, I want to move on now to talk a little bit about the scanimals yep. um, and and what they do. And and we also have a video. But um, do you have one there that you can show us? Look at how I cute do, he I is. I do. I do. Okay, let me grab a couple. So this is Scanda Bear. Oh, absolutely love them. So, you know, plushy, but they've got that QR code on their bellies. And yes. so what does that, what, what can we do with that? So you take a mobile device and you scan the belly of your scanimals and then you, it opens up a world of games and fun um, on a free app. So there are four games to start and these games are interactive and it plays specifically with the character uh, or the Scanimals uh, figure that you are uh, scanning. Just love it. Let's take a look at the video and then we'll come back and talk about it some more. So this is the Scanimals. <laughs> are here to tell you all about Scanimals, a scannable world of fun and games. Here's how it works. First, download the free Scanimals app on your smartphone or tablet. Next, add me to your collection. Scan my secret code one time and I'm all yours. Play the Scan as He Spins game to earn tons of points for a chance to win free weekly, monthly, and annual Scanimals mailed right to you. The more Scanimals you collect, scan, and play with, the more you can win. You've won a prize! There's lots of ways to earn points. Look out for notifications on special scanning days. There are extra scantastic games to play, too. All this scanning is making me hungry. Who wants to scan the apple? I do. Happy scanning! They're just as cute as they can be and different different styles so every kid can get something that they like. And but once you scan it, then you can play games. And I love, you know, we talk all the time about uh, reinforcing kids for different behaviors and so they can win points that allow them to potentially win more scanimals. Right. Very That's cool. That's exactly right. So uh, in our uh, right now we're rolling out a new app that uh, takes the interactivity to the next level. Um, so cool. it allows you to physically win limited edition product um, that could reinforce gameplay and reinforce the interactivity of the kid and the mobile device itself. Really remarkable. And of course, you know, for kids on the spectrum, we love that there is an actual thing that is tied to the virtual thing. Um, that that is, that is something, a concept that 
uh, our kids need to be able to understand. And, and for those of us on either side of the equation, either you have a child who's only into the plushie and you're trying to get them interested in the video games, what a great bridge. And for those of us like me that we already made that bridge and now my kid only wants to exist in a virtual world, having that real thing to tie him back to uh, the real world, a, a really spectacular toy to have. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I think that uh, I, I can only imagine. I think uh, for, for, for children that are interacting with the scanimals, they're they're cute, they're fun, they're engaging, they're easy to understand because they're based on animals that that the child would come across mm -hmm. through either uh, interactions online or through books or through in person. I mean, frankly, most of us don't live in the country now, so we don't come across too many cows anymore. Right. I, I grew up in Tennessee, so I, I'm the king of dealing with cows. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but perhaps this is the only way that you interact. Um, yeah. But you, there's, it's not esoteric. You, you really don't have to second guess what the animal is, and yes. so it's really, it's an easy one to immediately sort of engage with and understand the backstory without ever having engaging with that particular character. Well, they're really cute, and and four different games that it comes with. And is there anything in particular that the games uh, that you want to talk about with with what they do? You know, they're, the, the games are loosely based on some of the most um, uh, popular games in app play. So uh, I would just say that, you know, there's there's been games like uh, uh, Doodle Jump. Mm -hmm. And so we have something that is, is reminiscent of that, uh, where your character is literally jumping through a world and you're manipulating the phone left and right, very easy interaction, but something that's uh, uh, rich because the more you, uh, the higher you go, the more interesting, uh, unique interactions you have. Okay. Uh, and so there's a, a real reason to continue playing and experience higher levels. And um, yeah, I think best of all, it's the gameplay um, is adjustable for younger, older, um, or for, you know, what, what have you. Very clever. And so where can they go to get the Scanimals? So right now at all Toys R Us stores um, and also uh, some select Learning Express stores. But this has really been our, our beta launch year for Scanimals. Um, and in 2014, we're rolling out the new Scan, Spin, and Win concept. And I think that that's going to be a, um, quite a popular uh, twist on, on Scanimals. And you can use these with... Uh, iPhones with yes. Androids, and Absolutely. you can do tablets as well. Absolutely, yes. Love so, that. Uh, as long as there's a front-facing camera, uh, you're perfectly good to go. Cool, very cool. And then, Jeremy, uh, last but not least, we wanted to talk a little bit about one of my favorite things, the Wiggles. Wiggles. We love the Wiggles. I have a whole bunch of cool Wiggles stuff. Oh, my goodness. Right Look here. at that fabulous Wiggles <laughs> guitar. So, oh. yes. And um, so should we talk about, this is a remarkable line of toys because the Wiggles, very trusted branding. Our kids all love the Wiggles. We still play some of our Wiggles CDs, even though my son is now one of those tweens. Yeah. Um, but um, the Wiggles, uh, you know, I mean, it's hard. I think a, a lot of us, it's hard to put our finger on what's so wonderful about them. But they're they're sweet and open and educational in a really yeah. kind and friendly way. Yes, I, I was going to say approachable, uh, kind, um, interesting, and colorful. Yeah. And there, it just it it definitely connects with you in so many uh, facets. And and yet for parents, you know, I mean, there's other things that. Uh, you know, that tried to be in that market that the kids loved, but the parents couldn't stand. Let's be honest. You know, there's a, pur there's a purple dinosaur that there's a, a, a target on that people would like to take him out. But the parents loved Wiggles, too. Um, you know, we still, every time we chop a fruit salad, we still sing the Wiggles song. So uh, you've got some cute toys there. We, we just saw the guitar. And so what, kids ki what can kids do on that guitar? Well, for instance, the guitar has uh, sounds, and it allows you to push various buttons to, to perform uh, uh, the various elements of, of guitar play. Great. And so I could, I, I could take you through quickly some of the uh, items that are at Toys R Us right now. Sure. Um, so for instance, that's the guitar. Um, we also have the keyboard. Um, again, a lot of musical play, a lot of uh, interaction with your favorite characters, your Wiggles characters. We also have plush. 
so it goes beyond um, just having uh, music um, to various things like this. And then, of course, the um, Wiggles characters themselves. So Remarkable. And one of the cool things this year is that it's being relaunched, and for the very first time, there's a female Wiggle. Oh, I love that. It's a high time that that happened. I know, right? You, we almost, you know, we almost had a, a female president before we had a female wiggle. <laughs> and, and so I was, I was rooting for the female president first. But, you know. uh, well, I want to see if she gets to drive the car. Um, I want to see if that happens. I want to go back a little bit to the, the piano and the guitar because yesterday when we had Dr. Doreen Grampuche on the show and we were asking, uh, people were asking for rec recommendations for young kids on the autism spectrum and she was talking the importance of these exactly kinds of toys, these cause and effect toys. I touch a button and something happens. I right. do something and something else reacts and how essential those toys toys are and that sometimes for kids on the autism spectrum um, you know just the run-of-the-mill toy that's like that is aversive to them that it's not fun to them so having something that's paired with a product like Wiggles a show that they maybe are watching because a lot of our kids are visual and they like to watch a show and they see them playing the guitar then they're gonna find that cause and effect toy that much more interesting um, and that's an important important skill that we want to be developing in those early years is that cause and effect I touch this button and this happens really essential so great great colorful cause and effect toys that you've got there thank you thank you very much well so you, oh, right now again these are all out love there. that that's awesome. the drum set that's yes, cool that's, that's the drum set and we're gonna be sending you guys um, some examples of the scanimals and and wiggles product to give away as well awesome. and I know at a later date yes we're gonna give those away at a later date and um, but and we'll talk about that when when that comes up but Jeremy I gotta say you got some wicked cool toys hey <laughs> And, and we thank you so much for being here with us and sharing these great toys with us. And as I mentioned, somebody today is going to win one of those life-changing dollhouses. And on a future date, we're going to give away some of those Scanimals and um, some of the different Wiggles. So you guys will want to stay tuned for that. But Jeremy, thank everybody for us over at Wicked Cool Toys. Will do. Will do. And look forward to continuing this conversation uh, another time with even more cool toys. And Love that. We'd we'll, we'll be happy to have you back on whenever you'd like. Great. I'll be Thank back tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. We're going to take a break now, and we're going to be back in just a few moments. I hope you guys have been watching and taking note. If you see a word flash, remember that you need to uh, put in, in your, send off the email to us and put in the title, the toy that you're wanting to win, and then the body, the word or the phrase that you saw on the screen. We're going to be right back after these messages. Everyone, Thanksgiving is fast approaching and we thought it'd be really fun to teach you a gluten-free stuffing recipe with help from Breads from Anna. Now this is a two-day recipe and so day one we're gonna make this bread. Here's what you're gonna need. One package of Breads from Anna bread mix, one packet of active dry yeast, three eggs, one tablespoon apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons sugar, one quarter cup of oil, half a cup of warm water, one teaspoon ground sage, thyme, rosemary, one tablespoon of dried parsley, and then a pinch of tarragon, onion powder, marjoram, and garlic powder. On day two, when we put the stuffing together, here's what you'll be needing. Six tablespoons of butter, half a bulb of fennel, one chopped onion, two chopped carrots, half a cup of gluten-free chicken broth, one teaspoon of ground sage, thyme, and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and pepper. All right, step one, we're gonna dissolve our sugar into our water. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our active yeast. We're gonna dissolve all these together. So we're gonna just set this aside. Now we're gonna take our bread mix right on over to our mixer. So first things first, we're gonna put all our liquids together before we add in our dry bread mix. We're putting in three eggs, our oil, apple cider vinegar, water, and our water, yeast, sugar mixture. We're gonna blend these all together. So once our liquids are all mixed together, we're gonna to go ahead and add our bread mix. We're also gonna add all of our spices now. 
Okay, now that our bread's been mixed, we're gonna spoon this into a bread dish and we're gonna let it rise for about an hour. Okay, so now that we've let this rise for about an hour, we're gonna bake it at 375 for another hour. All right, it's been an hour, so let's grab our bread out of the oven. We're gonna let this cool for a little bit, and then we're gonna actually cube the bread, and we're gonna toast it in the oven just a little bit longer to dry it out so that when we add it to the vegetables, it'll make a really great stuffing. So as you can see, we've toasted our little breads here in the oven, and now what we're gonna do is saute some of these vegetables so that we can mix it in with the bread and make our final stuffing combination. So we'll start with the butter. So we're gonna start with our onions so that we can make sure these are good and cooked before we add the other vegetables. They cook a little bit longer. Okay, those are looking pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and add our fennel, our carrots, our garlic, and then all our spices. So you're gonna to wanna to cook this until the carrots especially are nice and soft. Our vegetables are pretty soft here, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and mix this with our bread. We're also gonna go ahead now and add our half a cup of broth. So once these are mixed together, we're gonna to go ahead and pour it into our greased baking dish and we're gonna bake it an additional 20 minutes at 350 degrees. I think it's ready. All right, and we can add a little garnish here. Perfect, and it's ready for Thanksgiving dinner. To learn how you can win some breads from Anna, go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash autism live. Until next time, happy holidays. Welcome back to Autism Live. We are, have been having an amazing time with our Festival of Toys, and unfortunately it's made it so that we haven't had as much time to catch up on some of the things that you guys have written in. So I wanted to address um, some of the questions that you guys had written in from yesterday. Uh, actually, and some even from the day before. Um, okay, so... Um, one of the first questions that we've got here was about the app that we showed on Tuesday. Um, the app is called Inner Voice, and you can get it on um, the iTunes Store. That is the only way it is available right now is on the iTunes Store. It's called Inner, app, uh, Inner Voice, excuse me. And my understanding, we had a question that came in about can you record voice. My understanding is in this particular version of inner voice, you cannot yet record voice, although you can customize the picture. You can take pictures and then it has a, it has a couple of different voices you can choose from, but um, that is something that's coming in a future, I hope I have that right, um, that that is coming from future for a future incarnation for that toy. So uh, wanted to make sure that we talked about that. Also, somebody had written in and asked, can you, you know, sometimes you guys are watching and the things go, go by so fast uh, about the different items that we've been featuring. So if you go to our blog, which is on our website, you can go to the blog and there is a blog for the holiday giveaway. Emily's got the, the site up there and just click on the blog tab. And Emily, who is just a miracle worker, has been listing each one of the products with the links of where to go to find it. Um, so that's an amazing resource where you can go and and be able to find these things because I know sometimes it goes by uh, really super duper fast now um, in addition to all of these things I'm just scanning through and looking at some of the other questions that you guys uh, what's the name of the toy with the flying ball and where do you find it thank you that's Marvel Science and that was called that's the Iron Man uh, it's the repulsor is part of the name of that toy uh, that is on the same site that I was just talking about go to our site click on the blog tab you'll be able to find I believe you can get that at Toys R Us and you also I would recommend 
And I know I've been scanning through all the different uh, things online that they're saying are going to be featured on Black Friday. I don't think any of us knows for sure until Thursday. Uh, but, you know, many of the toys that we've been showing here the last couple of days are on sale one place or another. Um, but... Uh, Marvel Science is going to be available in Toys R Us, and I think there are a couple of other places that you can find it as well. Um, but for sure, Toys R Us, and I believe Amazon for sure as well. But that's the, it's Marvel Science, and that particular toy was the Iron Man Repulsor. And, um... <laughs> I'm trying to think what else. The other day when Matt Asner was on, you featured a communication app with the guy from Star Trek. Uh, oh, I, it was, I, I see exactly what you're talking about because it had the Michael Doran picture from uh, Star Trek. Uh, name of that app, again, Inner Voice. Uh, also, all these toys you're featuring, we, will we post links? Yes, they are now on the blog. So hopefully I've answered everybody else's questions. And um, we're going to take a short break. We're going to come back and cover some of the news that we've been missing while we've been talking about toys, right? Uh, but with a couple of things we want to catch up on, so stick with us. Skills is an online program that provides assessment, curriculum, positive behavior support planning for challenging behavior, and progress tracking, and it does this all in one place. The Skills Assessment and Curriculum addresses eight areas of development, which even includes advanced higher level areas such as executive functions and cognition, which pretty much makes Skills the only ABA-based set of curricula for teaching more complex skills, things like problem solving, planning, self-management, perspective taking, and even inferring and predicting others' private events. Skills is a four-step system. Step one is to add the child to your account. Step two is to start assessment. The skills assessment is the only ABA-based assessment with psychometric research demonstrating the language subscale to have excellent reliability. Every area of human functioning and typical child development from infancy to adolescence was researched, making the skills assessment the most comprehensive of its kind in the world, and we're quite proud of that. Skills is easy to use. Simply click Start Assessment and begin answering questions, or simply type in a keyword find specific activities to assess, and add activities to treatment. Step three, choose activities. Once you've completed the assessment, Skills selects from a pool of 4,000 activities categorized by age, level, and skill type to provide you with exactly those activities each child needs. Start by choosing a curriculum, then a lesson, and finally an activity. Click the information icon to view prerequisites, ages in which targets develop, examples, and IEP goals. Click the video icon to watch a short video. Once you've identified an activity you want to teach, adding activities to treatment is a snap. Step 4. Start treatment. Here you can access customizable activity lesson details, add your own customized targets and exemplars, and edit an activity status such as introducing or mastering it. You can even print handouts such as worksheets, tracking forms, visual aids, and other materials. Skills also offers multiple progress charts, mapping curriculum progress, lesson progress, and cumulative number of activities and targets mastered over time. The Skills Language Curriculum is categorized by verbal behavior type so that users can identify progress for verbal operants, such as echoics, mans, tax, and interverbals. Skills is one of the only programs that provides the ability to write behavior intervention plans, or BIPs, for challenging behavior. With just a few clicks, the outline of the behavior intervention plan is written for you and ready to be printed and implemented. You can learn more about Skills today and get started by visiting us at www.skillsforautism.com or you can call us at 877-975-4559. Skills. Progress starts here. Welcome back to Autism Live. There's a, a story in the news that I, I feel very strongly, and many of you have written in to us and asked us to cover. Uh, two parents in Washington State have uh, just this week been found guilty of murder after allegedly following a book uh, that is called To Train Up a Child. I uh, we're going to mention the book. I'm not going to mention the authors because I in no way want to promote this book. In fact, um, as with a lot of you, I, I want to say unequivocally that this is uh, abusive 
and um, disturbing and upsetting. And if you know anybody who, it's a very deceptive book that it says to train up a child and it shows this very happy child on the cover of it. But this is not the first case that uh, parents have followed the book and it has resulted in them murdering their child. And um, in this case, the, the two parents, uh, Larry and Carrie Williams are now, they have received the maximum prison sentence allowable under the law after being found guilty of beating and starving their adopted daughter, Hannah, to death. Uh, their meth the methods they used to discipline their daughter were advocated in this very controversial book. Uh, to train up a child. Some of the dif different discipline techniques that are advocated in the book are using a plastic tubing to beat a child because uh, it's so light that it you can beat the child and it won't leave marks on them so that the child is taken away from you. Uh, they advocate that the parent wear the plastic tubing around their neck as a way of constantly reminding the child of what will happen if they are not complying. Uh, they encourage swatting babies as young as six months old with instruments such as a 12-inch willow branch, uh, thinner plastic tubing, or a wooden spoon. They encourage something called blanket training, which means that you put the child on a blanket and you hit them with an instrument if they try to move off the blanket so that eventually you can walk away and they'll stay on the blanket. They encourage beating older children with rulers, paddles, belts, larger tree branches, uh, and training children with pain even before they disobey, disobey in order to teach total obedience. They encourage giving cold water baths, putting children outside in cold weather, and withholding meals as discipline. They encourage hosing off children who have had potty training accidents, and they also encourage inflicting punishment until a child is without breath to complain. Um, I, you know, I don't want to get into corporal punishment because I know that everybody has different opinions on this, right? Um, and there are very, this is my feeling about this, and everybody can write into me and tell me what their feelings are. There are laws, um, and the laws do not prohibit parents from using corporal punishment. Whether, whether we agree with that or not, the laws are there, and, you know, people have different rights as parents. But there are also laws that are very specific about corporal punishment that is allowed and not allowed for very specific reasons because just having given birth to someone or allowing them to live in your home and taking the financial responsibility of someone does not entitle you to abuse them. And so there are very specific laws and trying to circumvent those laws by picking different items with which to beat your child to do bodily injury but not leave a mark to me is disgusting. Um, you know, so that puts it in perspective for me to begin with. Um, but further, you know, each and every one of us has walked this path, and at one point we were a child. And I and I can't speak for everyone else, but I, you know, I'm, I'm a child of the 60s, and pretty much, you know, a lot of us got swatted, and a lot of us got hit, and, you know, parents, uh, my parents certainly believed in punishment, and I can tell you I didn't respond well to any of it. Um, that and and some of these different things that they're talking about are no longer legal denying your child food as a punishment is not legal uh, putting a child outside in bodily injury in cold weather uh, it's not legal that that is you know uh, I would encourage everyone to uh, shun this book uh, if you know anyone who is using this book uh, to let them know that people are going to prison for following these teachings and encourage them to look at some of the different studies that have been done on how we can discipline children using reinforcement strategies instead of these inappropriate abusive strategies. It's life-changing when you learn how to get a child to do what you want them to do and to enjoy doing it. We've had 
multiple experts on this show who have talked about the fact that when you use punishment as a tactic, it doesn't maintain the skill, that you might get a child to do something in the moment, but that as soon as you turn their back, they will revert back to whatever it was that they were doing. Um, so this isn't even effective, and it is abusive. It's it's disgusting to me. And um, I'm glad that the courts were in no way lenient um, with these parents. And I encourage uh, all of us to uh, have nothing to do with this book. And if you know somebody who's using it, talk to them. This is beyond disgusting, and a, and a young life has been lost needlessly. Uh, we're going to take a short break and come back to finish out the show. Stick with us. Hi, I'm Bryce Myler, and I'm the Contracts Director for the Center for Autism and Related Disorders. I've been here for about five years. CARD has several employees with many years of insurance experience uh, dealing with insurance, dealing with pre-authorizations, dealing with discovering whether there's coverage or not. So we have more experience than any ABA provider that I've ever come across. So for, for a prospective client, somebody that may be interested in you know ABA therapy and what CARD has to offer, we have a special 800 number um, and you call that number. They will talk to you about what we have to offer, uh, how ABA works, they'll ask you for the front and back of your ID card and then we check to see if you do or do not have coverage. If you have coverage for ABA therapy, we try to do whatever we can to set it up where we can bill for you and you don't have to fight with the insurance company every month to get your claims paid. For California residents, we recently did a series of insurance trainings all over the state and you can click on the link below to watch pretty much the full presentation. It has a lot of information how you can get your insurance company to, to comply with what they're supposed to do. Uh, understanding the networks and many other um, valuable pieces of information. Welcome back to Autism Live. You know, this whole week we're focusing on toys and it's our festival of toys. I wanted to take just a minute to tell you about the, the that are gonna be here tomorrow. You probably have heard of Kids Bop. They're the, the, it's the, the group that does all those wonderful CDs where they take popular hits of today and the kids do them. It's a kids group that performs them and sings them. They, they've had so many different CDs that they put out and right now they have a Christmas CD out. Well, get ready for this. Tomorrow via Skype, we are going to have the Kids Bop on the show. The the group of the actual singers, yes, are going to be Skyping with us from a gig that they're doing in Texas. They're going to be with us tomorrow and I understand that we hope, we're crossing fingers, that they're going to get to sing for us a little bit. And we're going to have a bunch of Kids Bop CDs to give away. How spectacular is that? Really excited to talk to these uh, talented young people and hopefully to hear them sing. Also tomorrow, uh, the folks at LEGO who, you know, how, I just got chills. How much do we love Lego, right? Um, and they so wanted to be a part of our toy festival. Uh, they are unable to join us in person, but they sent some product. You gotta love Lego. So we have some Legos that we're gonna be giving away tomorrow. You have to love that. And then this amazing new, uh, new to me product that I, I'm just in love with, uh, a lovely little doll called Little Pim. And Pim is uh, just a, a, the cutest little doll, but it's so deceptive because Pim has the ability to teach language. So I know many of you have talked in the past about your children are uh, on the autism spectrum and you're getting some feedback from other people in the family about, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to teach one language to a child. Do we want to heap on another language? And what we find is that it's very effective at building skills. And so little Pam is a great doll for teaching your child another language. The doll teaches the language. So, you know, French, Spanish, Chinese, uh, they've got lots of different kinds of little Pam. So little 
little Pim is going to be here tomorrow and we're going to be giving away some little Pim dolls. I know it's very exciting. I get very thrilled about the whole thing. So that's what we have going on tomorrow. Very, very exciting. And I want to uh, talk a little bit about next week as well. Next week, there's only two shows because it's the big Thanksgiving week. So we'll be here on Tuesday and then on Wednesday. And don't forget that on Wednesday, Dr. Doreen Grampache, the Ask Dr. Doreen segment that she normally does, we're still going to be here for it, but the entire show is devoted to anxiety. This, You guys have been asking for this for a while. We know that this is a part of the ride, and it can sometimes be so overwhelming and frustrating because we don't really, a lot of times, I know, I'm mystified. I have my own issues with anxiety. And so when it comes to my child, you know, I, I want to be able to help him and we all could use some help, right? So that entire hour with Dr. Doreen Grampache is devoted to the subject of anxiety. You know, subheading of that, one of the things she's promised to talk about is that obsessive compulsive behavior um, that not only affects our children, but I know a lot of parents will, will comment on the fact that they see it in their child, but they know that they also have some OCD issues. I'm one of them. Um, so she's going to be talking about with that, that with us, and you'll have an opportunity to ask questions. You can ask them right now. We're compiling them, getting ready for that hour just about anxiety. And I know in the second hour with Nancy Allspa Jackson, when she's here with us, we're going to have um, a lawyer, a special education lawyer who's going to be with us uh, from the Bonnie Yates law firm were, I'm huge fans of the Body Yates law firm. Uh, they've been of huge help to me in the past. And um, so Hans is going to be with us, and uh, I don't have his last name with me, but he is a special education attorney, and we're going to be talking specifically about parents' rights and um, things that we need to know at this point in the school year, uh, different um, discussions that we might be having about placement and things such as that. I know I'm incredibly interested in that, and I'm sure that you will be too. And then, of course, we're off for Thanksgiving and the day after. So, um, but we're, we're doing some amazing shows in December, and we're still, every hour from now to December 20th, we're giving stuff away. In this hour, we are giving away that dollhouse. <sighs> that amazing dollhouse. And so I can't wait to see who wins that. Remember, Emily's showing you the email address of where you need to send the email. In the subject title, you would say, my girl's dollhouse. In the body of the email, you need to make sure that you put whatever the word of the phrase was. Uh, like I said, I don't know what it was. I don't get to see it. So I hope you saw it. Uh, and that you put you have till 7 a.m. tomorrow morning Pacific time. And a winner will be chosen uh, from the correct answers at random. And I don't have anything to do with it, so, uh, you know, don't email me about it. Uh, but I, I know somebody's going to win that fabulous dollhouse. And don't forget, tomorrow, Kids Bop, Little Pim, and Lego. You can't, gotta love that. We'll close out the week on a, on a big, big high note. So all of that and ever so much more, and hopefully we'll have a chance to look at some of the things you guys have been writing in on Facebook. So until then, please give your kiddos a hug from me. Bye-bye for now.